War. War never changes. Since the dawn of man, when tribes beat each other to death over necessities, the will to power has been the driving force of mankind. When the great fires of humanity's ambition ravaged the earth, it was not our doing. For the bloodiest chapter of human history had only begun. Britain was not spared the hellfire. And London, a monument to mankind's ambition, was returned to the state of nature. Those who emerged from the ashes did so from a network of underground bunkers known as Pindar stations. And so it was that the embers of civilization would ignite once again. Over a century later, through the military might of the Tommies, an aristocratic parliament continues to give orders. But few are still listening. In the Tower Hamlets, the fifth column rises. Training drums beat and uniforms march, all in the name of their dear leader, Eve Varney. Across the Thames, in the pastures of Richmond, a great army gathers strength. Styled on the Camelot Knights of days past, they're headed once more unto the breach. For there are whispers of angels beneath this hallowed land, a curtain of illusion and intrigue, a puppeteer behind the scene. Only one thing is certain. Those who take the road to Westminster will be forever changed. Because in mankind's pursuit of power, there is no price too high, no life too valuable, and no ideal too sacred. Because war, war never changes. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the door, please. Subject has been performing. Oh, well, ooh. The spike in visuals. Why? Perfectly usual. Who were you two? Smythe. Smythe will be pleased. Who's Smythe? Why has Smythe got me here? I'm certain. Perhaps we should take a closer examination. Uh, pause off, dude. There we are. I don't look too bad. Quite, quite elegant, considering I'm in a vat of green goop. Excellent. A rapid progress is being made. Hmm. And with zero anomaly. Well, of course. Now, there must be some with this green goo. Ah, well, my name is Ava. Hmm. I'm not a massively strong woman, but I am perceptive. I've got some endurance. I've got boatloads of charisma. I'm fairly intelligent. I'm agile. I'm kind of lucky too. My body is a temple. I don't see myself drinking any alcohol, using any skems, apart from stim packs, maybe. But I am a bit of a sleepwalker. Sometimes I just wake up in odd places, and I don't know how I got there. And there you have it, gents. That's me. All over. Just a lass from the north. Gentlemen. Oh. I trust everything is going well. Tremendously so. In fact, it may be our best work yet. Well, Good. I don't know whether the subject the goop could could go. No. Nope. Within a week or so, we can wrap up phase one. What's phase one? Phase one oh. on autopilot. Hmm. See that it's I don't done. The sound of that. So that was Smythe, was it? 
Huh. Seems to be rousing a bit. Well, yeah, you've got me in a tank of goop. Let's put them back under. Well, I've only twelve. Whoa. <gasps> Ooh. Ouch. Oh, the goop's gone. I mean, thanks. Ugh. Whew, I feel a little, a little woozy. Oh, well. I'm awake. My God, a tank of goop. That's all I'm seeing. So can I? Yes. I can. Get me out. I don't know if I've been stuck in a tank full of goo. Can I? No. Get me out of here. Ugh. Tank full of goo. Who keeps people in goo? Good God. Oof. Well, do you know what? It might be cold outside. And you don't need it. All right. Anything else? Ooh. Another? Yeah, we'll take all your... Item, sir. I mean, this place is kind of crummy. But, oh, bodies. Was this where I was headed if I wasn't doing well at phase one? Maybe, maybe. Ooh. Painkillers, hey, I have got a little bit of a headache. Good God. Anything else? Speakers. Hmm. Oh. These me? Hmm. Maybe. That is a head in a jar. You know when something inside you just tells you to do something and you, you know you shouldn't? Hmm. And apparently you can't. Well, never mind. Never mind. Can we... So, oh, they came in from here, didn't they? Who were they? Hello? Oh, no. Nothing. Not a soul. Well, what else? Another dead guy. I will take your stuff, thank you. A clean coffee, to co coffee cup. I would prefer tea, please. This is England, after all. We're British. We like the tea. The tea shall be hot. Okay. Oh. Clean white plate. Not planning on having any dinner parties anytime soon, so won't bother. Hmm. A toy car. Oh, no. Promotes children and I won't have it. A, a three pin plug. Not, not massively useful. Oh, toolbox. Hmm. Gold flip lighter and some turpentine. Well, why not? Bit of turpentine never hurt anybody. Oh. Hello? Oh. Jeez. Hey. Okay. Why not? I mean, I come in peace, you know. From the goop. Guess not. Well. So what's this A symbol? A with what looks like a compass maybe on the top and a set square on the bottom. Some kind of science. Well, I am clearly a product of science. Look at this. Whew. I am glad to be out of the goop. It certainly didn't do much for my skin. Whoa, okay. Hmm. Can I? Hello? Ah. Oh! Well, I burnt myself. That was foolish. Never mind. Anything here? Nothing. More goop tanks. With nobody in them. Why are they here? Why did they put us in the goop? Why was I the only person in the goop? Hmm. Well, what else is up here? Tea! Tea tin, thank you. Tea bags, hey. Milk. Empty milk, but sugar. We'll take the sugar. Why not? Not normally one for sugar in tea, but hey. Desperate times. Hmm. 
Anything else here? Hmm, strange contraption. Hmm, don't know what the symbol means. Curiosity. No! A t-shirt and slacks. Lovely. Terminal? What is this? Exclusive? Exclusive? Collab? What? VIP. Names, names. Are these maybe... Maybe they're more test subjects. Who can say? Well, we, I haven't seen them, so there's nothing I can kind of do to help them if they are here as test subjects. I've got to help myself, you know? I woke up in this place in a tank full of goop. I know I keep going on about the goop, but bleh, it was sticky. Ugh. Ah. I fear the Ghostbusters may be in town. Hmm. What in the world have we come upon here? These rats? Ooh, don't look like rats. Anything else? Oh no. So, hmm. A lab bottle. Oh, a bobby pin box. Wonderful, that might be useful to us. Bone cutter, no. Terminal, here we go. Welcome to Turing Computing Limited. Trademark, Termlink. Hmm. What's mis mission? Maybe mission South Point S fifth? But I don't know. Unauthorized content detected. Oh no! Redacted, redacted, redacted. Oh dear. File integrity one point six percent. External mainframe access detected. Automatic access protocol initiated. I have redacted and corrupted your file. Do not write out mission statements. This was covered in orientation. S. Smythe? Maybe. Okay, well, that's put paid to that. Log entry one. The troopers have secured us a batch of the rad shrews for testing. I would have preferred working with rad rats, but it seems they were chased off by their counterparts. Judging by the size of the rad shrews in London Bridge Station, I don't entirely blame them. So are these rad shrews in here then? Ooh. Log entry two. Testing on the captured rad shrews is going well. Multiple have died, but the remaining ones are stronger than ever. I'm especially proud of the one we affectionately refer to as Big Dave. I am now going to move us on to the next stage of development, which will introduce more vitamins into their diet. We'll also simultaneously reduce their feed to see how they cope. I predict a lot of them will die, so we'd better get the nets ready to capture some more. Log entry three. Smythe should be content with the results. Progress has been made and exciting new things have been discovered. Not only did the Radshrews surpass expectations, but some of the results correlated with our prized subjects next door. Utterly fabulous to see it all coming together. With any luck, Smythe will visit the laboratory soon and see our progress. Was I one of the prized subjects next door? I'm not sure I like that. The Radshrew. Oh my. Radshrew. A small carnivorous mammal, the Radshrew seems to have mutated from its much smaller counterpart, the Common Shrew. Unlike the Common Shrew, which was insectivorous, its evolution along the food chain now permits it to hunt much larger prey. The Radshrew has tiny eyes and a large nose, giving it a keen sense of smell. Radshrews snuffle through the undergrowth for their prey and can be found in most habitats, but prefer dirt flooring, woodland and grassland. Active by day and night, they are very territorial and aggressive for their size and can sometimes be heard fighting, their high-pitched squeaks particularly noticeable during the summer. Most Radshrews have mutated to have lost most of their fur and have grown sizeable front teeth. Where there is hair left, there are thin, tiny hairs that in low light allow the Radshrew to navigate through touch rather than sight. The pair of protruding front teeth and bulky masseter and temporalis muscles have greatly increased its biting power, perfect for tearing flesh from carcasses or defending itself from larger predators. The Radshrew is fast, reaching speeds of 24 kilometers per hour, and with large hip 
extensor muscles, it can change direction in quick and unpredictable ways. Often scavenging with the rest of its horde, it can be difficult to single out any one individual. Hmm. Radshrews sound pretty formidable. Okay. So, reset door mechanisms? What does that do? Maybe... I don't know, maybe... Oh, well, let's try it. Okay, what? Oh, God! What the... Oh, my God, these things! Oh! Get away! You gross weirdos! Oh! Disgusting! Look at them! Oh! Ugh! Gross! Absolutely gross! Good God! Ugh! What nasty little creatures! Why on earth would you want those here? Oh God, no, no! Oh, okay. The whole place is shaking. A beer mug, dog tags. I mean, I don't really need B I M T fair. What's that? Hmm, some kind of coin. A ladle? I'm not planning on cooking up any soup anytime soon in this dive. Good lord. Open the door. What's this? That symbol again. Hmm. Must be for some kind of organisation. Who are these people? Who took me and put me in a vat of goop? Yes, I'm still mad about the goop. Well. Hmm. Camera, a test tube, a vial stand. Anything else here? Pick up the device. There's a. That's a pen, not a device. What's this? Oh! Password required. Oh! Oh! Do we maybe have to. Hack in! That's what I'll do. I'll hack in. Ah! Uh, well! Moon? Hair? Maybe hair. The likeness is zero. Well, that doesn't really help us out, does it? Um, maybe moon? The likeness is zero. Hmm. Shed? The likeness is zero. Huh. Easy? Try again. Hmm. Sort core four. Hmm. Well, maybe door. Nope. Mask. Likeness two. Hmm. Maybe flak, or it could be pass. Kind of want to try flak. No. Pass. Pass! Hey, we're in! Smythe Log Number One. A patrol up in Newham has discovered a stockpile of American technology hidden away on a military cargo plane at London City Airport. The flight log suggests it was grounded after the United States annexation of Canada and held in containment until the bombs fell. Curious. I'll have some of it brought down. See what's salvageable. Yes, I'm guessing that's Smythe. Okay, Smythe. Yes, because this is Smythe's log. Huh. Say what you will about the Americans, and I always did, but their technological trinkets were delightful. Let's forget the atom bomb and look at their more practical contributions. Take the Pip-Boy, for example, a Robco design. It's a marvellous little invention. It contains all one needs to carry out daily tasks. It has a radio, global positioning system, task management, and countless other utilities. Who needs a brain when you have all that? Obviously, I would never need such a device, but I could see it having some use. I'll reverse engineer it. There was always room for improvement with Robco inventions. Okay, so my log three. I have come to the correct conclusion that a wrist-mounted device would be impractical for use within my organisation. Whether it be the scientists or the troopers, they must have immaculate accuracy. A hunk of metal strapped to their wrists would hinder that. Yes, a handheld ergonomic device would be suited to our needs. I'd also like to install a proper Geiger counter. Don't get me wrong, it's impressively concerning that they had the foresight to include one, but you can barely read the thing on this model. Not ideal. Hmm. Log 4. 
I had a look at some other models. Turns out vault made revisions of their own. Specifically, some kind of video-assisted targeting system. Intriguing. Our troopers, of course, can already outperform this technology, but I might as well include it. I'll also make it compatible with the laboratory maglocks. Why not? True. Log 5. It looks like I'm nearing completion of this little project. The Atta boy has finally been born. Angel Technical Task Assistant. I just need to iron out a few kinks and we'll have a working prototype. Though, I'll have to put this project on the back burner for a while. There are far more pressing matters to deal with. Were we a pressing matter? Hmm. Did Smythe put me in here? Screwdriver. Well, no. Ooh. Pit boy. Hey, what's this? Here we go. Uh, okay, diagnostic test number 12. Um, okay, yep, no holotape found. Ha. Huh. Data mine results. PIP OS supports health notifications, munitions monitoring, VATS tracking, and audio playback. Additionally, it integrates with the onboard computers of Power Armor, allowing a user to access their pit boy from within the armor via a HUD like on visor display. Prompt. Further data mine results required. Imperative to discover what VATS is. Discover how integration with Power Armor works. Perhaps it may correctly power the few remaining antiques in London. Hey. Data mine results, the next lot. Okay. PIP OS supports the VATS or the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System mechanic. When using VATS against a humanoid enemy, seven different areas can be targeted. The head, torso, left arm, right arm, currently held weapon, left leg and right leg. However, there may be other points available when facing off non-humanoid creatures. For example, robot combat inhibitors and ant antennae. When targeting a part, the screen displays a percentage of how likely the attack will hit the targeted area based on distance from the target, visibility of the target body part, and combat skill. Well, prompt. Further data mine results required. VATS seems to be an advanced combat technology whose developmental origins seem to have been lost to time. Despite this, the basic components to the system seem to have been transferable into the reverse engineered device. Ha! Okay, so they've reverse engineered this this pit boy thing. Corrupted data, yeah, not useful. Okay, so is this another one? It is. Any more info on this thing? Diagnostic test number eleven. Same story. Okay. Um, data mine results. What makes you special? Strength, a measure of your raw physical power. Perception, perception is a measurement of your environmental and situational awareness. Endurance, a measure of your overall physical fitness. Charisma, your ability to charm and convince others. Intelligence, a measure of your overall mental acuity. Agility, a measure of your overall finesse and free flexes. Luck, a measure of your general good fortune. Prompt, this system seems a fantastic way to register the user's abilities and keep track of progression throughout life. This is far beyond anything the Ministry of Information could invent. This system can be easily transferred into the new device, and it's highly recommended that we do so. And more corrupted data. Well! So... Ah! Take the device. This is like a... Like a... Mini TV or something. Kind of flat, though. Uh, ooh. Oh, hey! There you go! It's on! What's that stat in data? What? Some the tape recorder? Tape player? Ooh. Okay. What's it gonna do? Oh. Is this This is me? Ha! Huh. Head bobbing away there. Happy as anything. Okay, so is this Ah, it's got all my everything in it. Everything about me. Okay. Ah, no weapons, damn. Hmm. Slacks, t-shirt and slacks, no damage resistance though. I'll um, I'll stick with my trusty suit, I think. Aid. Well, I'm not in bad shape. I could do with a tea. Can we get some water here? Make some tea. 
Some kind of some kind of coin, maybe? Junk? Oh my god, I've picked up some junk. Mods and ammo. I've got some ammo as well. I don't know what I could use that for, as I don't have a gun. A map. Radio? Radio stations? Well, okay. This is the British Broadcast Ministry. I'm Bradley Fortworth, your host and guide through the wonderful world of classical music. Hmm. Welcome to the program. Let's begin. Okay. Well. And now, the piece that strikes fear into the despicable little hearts of every piano player this side of the Thames. Oh my god. It's Hungarian Rhapsody number two. Oh god, okay. Um, Crystal Palace? What's Welcome this one? Oh! Crystal Palace Radio. A little more lively? Heartful, Roger. And I am Olivia Twist, playing those delightful classics from the other side of the pond. If you miss the swinging beats of days gone by, you are in the right place. Huh. So stay tuned. Who knows what musical masterpiece we'll play next. Hmm. They sounded like... Pff, they've been heavy smokers for years. Ha! Huh. Maybe we'll get to meet them. Okay, the men. What's this? Is this thing on? Yeah, hello. hello? Hmm. It's quiet. Hello? Testing? Testing? One, two, three. Ah, here we go then. It's me. Your boy Nigel, some call me Nigel the Nihilist, but you, the old shiners, can call me whatever you like. Hmm. Now, some of you might remember the old Prince Retron host, DJ XJT13, but his little sprocket went bang and so did the music. So now you're stuck with me and my new little pirate radio station, The Mend. So yeah, you on The Mend, here with Nigel the Nihilist. Okay, Nigel. Well, we'll leave him to his business. Ooh. And I get a belt, too. Okay. Oh, the very height of fashion. Whew. I've been down here too long. Lost all our weight. But I don't need a pen. Hmm. Scissors. Huh. Wonder glue. Hmm. Might be useful. Getting ourselves into a sticky situation. Okay, so... C11. Can we read any of these? No, nothing to tell us anything. <sighs> ah! Attaboy docking port. Ah! Can we get out? Better... There we are. If in doubt... Blow the dust out. <laughs> Excessively loud alarm. Goodness gracious. Strange boxes, like... Hmm. Never mind. Hello? Not a soul. Okay. I think we need to um, make our way out. Rather quickly, given that the whole place is falling apart, no doubt. In here, might as well take those. I'm sure there'll be a use for them some some time in the future. Oh dear. Well, I would like your torch, but never mind. Nothing. Oh dear. Well. Oh. Look at this. A box. Thank you. No oh, oh. hello? Oh. You have a go. You got it, boss. Uh-huh. Yeah. No power. I can remove it from the main network. But... What the fuck's that on the camera? Right outside, look. What? There's a... Oh! Hello? Can you let me out? They'll have to find the wrong way. Ugh. Really? Power. Oh. <sighs> Brilliant. Wonderful, one would say. Can we, can we call? No. Nope. God. Just shutting out the lights on me. Ugh. Well, thankfully. Let's take this. The world will never know. Okay, let's turn this on. There we go. 
Nice and bright. I can see. Huh. L aluminium can. Not exactly ideal. Ugh. What were they doing to us here? Good grief. An, an egg timer? Not planning on eating any eggs anytime soon. Why do I think that will be useful? Hmm. Anything else in here? Scissors. Oh. Purified water. I do enjoy a water. Purified, ideally. Anything in any of these? Oh, a drinking glass. Well, not much of an alka, alka frolic myself. Thank you. Anything here? Oh, expired syringe. No, thank you at all. IV bag. Some fuel, maybe we could put it in a car or something. Some rat poison. Hopefully we won't come across any more of those rats. As they were awful. Construction torch and a light bulb. Maybe the torch would be useful. Fireplace scoop. Yellow trimmed plate. Again, not planning to um not planning to hold any dinner parties anytime soon. Well uh, I guess we have but one option. The hole in the wall. Good grief. The whole place is coming down. We need to hurry up. Anything else here? No. Hmm. Hello? Can we go in here? No? Oh. Well. Nothing. No. Ooh. Where are Hello? you going? Out! I doubt you'll make it far. Someone such as yourself. And what's that meant to mean? You were more useful as a lab rat. Warning. You'd be more useful as a corpse. Warning. But alas. It seems I'm not along for this world. What a tragedy. It's a shame, really. There's Is it, though? so much I wanted to do. Off you go, then. Me seeing you. Not if I see you first. What an awful woman. How rude. Good grief. <sighs> Stick me in a tank of goop and, and turn me into a lab rat, will you? vile woman. Can I go in here? Oh, can't. Well, let's get in the lift. Going up. Because the floor. Well. Oh, my. So this is some kind of train station or something? I don't think I want to take a petrol canister with me somewhere. Uh. Ooh. Huh. No. No items in there. Another lift. <sighs> Dead soldier. How awful. Anything in the bin? Well, here's this symbol again. Set in the floor. Is this some kind of organization or something? Hmm. Hello? Hello? You are oh. quite the wayfarer. Aren't you again. You? Oh, God. Escaping all that hubbub with all you've been through. I'm impressed. Well, up de doo da. It seems I neglected to introduce myself. Very unprofessional of me. Well, go ahead. I'm Ms. Smythe. Oh. And you? Well, it doesn't matter who you are. I'm sure you have many questions. And perhaps someday I'll answer them. Hmm, maybe you but will. But for now... Wayfarer, let's not stand on parade. Since I'm all for giving one a sporting chance, I've unlocked the doors. Go. Stay safe. And remember, mind the gap.
Well. <laughs> All the wit and charm of an Alsatian dog after a head swap operation. Good grief. Well, is there anything that I may take? Use? Looks like a lot has, has happened here. Oh, a telephone box. Can I make a call? Uh, no. Apparently not. I don't know who I'd call anyway. Hmm. Oh, mannequins. What a fine addition to a fountain. Who wouldn't want that? Hmm. Oh, dear. I don't wish to take a seat next to the... Uh, next to the skeleton of the uh, irradiated person. I imagine they were irradiated. Seeing as it's a nuclear bomb that's gone off. Good grief. Oh. A Nuka Cola. I will take it given how thirsty I am. Anything else? Cigarettes. No, thank you. It's a filthy habit. Hmm. Shard Concierge Terminal. The Shard, a vertical city. Concierge staff only. Welcome to the Shard. Management reminder. Subject. Welcome to the Shard. Attention. All staff. Welcome to the Shard, London's premier luxury hotel and residence. We extend our warmest greetings to all guests arriving during this tumultuous time. Rest assured, your comfort and safety are our top priorities. Please enjoy your stay and do not hesitate to contact our concierge team for any assistance you may require. Thank you for your cooperation. Best regards, the Shard Management. Throw the peasants out. Management reminder, subject, throw the peasants out. Attention all staff. In light of the ongoing resource war and heightened security measures, it is imperative that we maintain strict access protocols. Please remember that individuals of lower standards or class are not permitted entry into the building under any circumstances. Report any breaches immediately to security personnel. Thank you for your cooperation. Best regards, Shard Management. Nice. Maintenance update. Management reminder, subject, maintenance update. Attention all staff. We are experiencing minor issues with plumbing in several guest rooms on the 12th floor. Maintenance has been informed and is currently addressing the situation. Guests affected have been relocated as per protocol. This needs to be fixed within the week or you can find yourselves another job. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Best regards, Shard Management. Don't let the mice in. There are mice here? Management reminder. Subject, don't let the mice in. Attention all staff. As we continue our valiant defence against unexpected visitors and mice, let's ensure our hotel remains impenetrable. Keep the access points to the Shard locked tighter than a jar of warmite and report any suspicious characters, human or mice, pronto. Thank you for your cooperation. Best regards, the Shard management. Nice. They sounded like a, a, a lovely brunch of uh, people, don't they? Um, newspa newspaper just because I can. Hmm. Duct tape and a wrench. And precious little... little else. Fesco. Hmm. I have a feeling that that is a reference, but... Oh! What's this? Cigarette machine. Well, I don't smoke. Is there anything up here? Oh! Hmm. Mother elevator. Well, let's go. Get in the lift and see where it takes us. Hmm. Another dead, um, dead person. Oh. What's that? Oh, goodness gracious. Ugh. More of these hideous things. How did it have a book? Oh, no. There we go. Ah. Come on, then, you fiend. 
Well, we took a bit of a beating. Hmm. <sighs> there we are. Hmm. C oh, I can't open the door. Hmm. Well, what a shame. What's this? Oh. A balcony of some variation. I Oh <gasps> Well a note. Do it. Absolutely not. Awful. Well, what a place. Let's get out. Hmm. Probably very fancy. Pre war. Underground, a London Bridge. Well. Hmm. In the event of nuclear attack, take shelter in your nearest underground station. Protect and survive. This booklet tells you how to make your home and your family as safe as possible under nuclear attack. I don't think it worked. Just, just as a thought. And you are going to need more than a broom to clean up this mess. Welcome to the Shard. Hmm. Well... Oh, more of you awful things. Ugh. Ghastly little creatures. Ugh. Hmm. Well, how... Hmm. How utterly useless. Never mind. Oh, a stim pack now. Thank you. We'll definitely be needing one, I have no doubt. Well, this has gone to absolute hell in a handbasket. Has it not? Good grief. Ugh, more of these rad shrews. Oh. Ow. Ugh. I mean... Hmm. Rad true meat. Painkillers. We'll drink the milk. Oh! Well, what's in here? Anything? Burnt Lifestyle Magazine. Burnt Trade Magazine. Unfortunately, not much use to ourselves. Purified water. Hmm. Oh dear. What is that? Oh, a safe. And wouldn't you know it, I'm fresh out of bobby pins. Well, blast. Never mind. Hmm. 
Oh. Well, thank you. You have collected an issue of Protection Survive. Trafalgar Square is now permanently marked on your map. Wondrous. Hmm. Cigarettes I don't smoke, I'm afraid. Hmm. What a mess this place is. Dirty water. Tickets. Are tickets useful? One does wonder. Possibly. Shot glass. Nuka Cola glasses. Scotch. Scotch bottle. Oh. Another one of those wretched creatures, good lord. Anything else? Ah, pink wafers. A definite favourite. Sweets, also a favourite. Cake, happy birthday. Hmm. Nothing in the cash register. Cherry Bakewells. Can always appreciate Cherry Bakewells. Hmm. Well, can we take a bicycle? Cycle our way out? I would love to know what was in that safe. That's got me all interested. But I don't think we can get in. Because we don't have the, um... Bobby pins. Absolute shame. Can we get through? Ah, this one has a light. Ah, and we're through. Anything else? A lager bottle? No, thank you. <gasps> Wretched creatures. Ugh! So disgusting. Nothing in the cash register. Oh, but some money here. Tickets. Are the tickets worth something? I do not know. They may be worth something to somebody. <gasps> Bobby pins. Yes! Maybe we could go and have a look in that safe. Can we get through? Hmm, maybe this side will let us pass. Aha! There we go. Okay, so what is in the safe? Aha! Ah! More rounds, clarity, shotgun shells, and a stim pack. Most useful. Most useful indeed. Hmm. So, what else can we find here? I do have another ticket. What about this? Authorised personnel only? Ah, more tickets. Ah, uh, hmm. Ooh. Oh, ah, safe. We can't open. Ha. <sighs> well, never mind. There will be more opportunity, I am sure. Ah, London Bridge Underground Station. Hmm. Out of order lift and another out of order lift. So we are walking. Hmm. Oh, another ticket. <gasps> what are these? A rad roach. Sounds delightful. And they give me rads. Ah. Anything in here? Ugh. Grot 
grotesque. Hmm. Inaccessible. Hmm. Deary me. Well, good heavens. How unbelievably awful. <sighs> Lots of tickets. Are tickets useful? We will find out. Laundered green dress. Viscount Nelson Ale. Hmm. Mother and her, well, and not her baby. Good grief. A ticket stash. Hmm, maybe tickets are useful. An overdue book. Another overdue book. And an empty suitcase. Well, I think we will be going. Anything in here? Hmm. Oh dear. Brad roaches. Morph X. Broid. A leather bag. I don't really need a leather bag. I'm assuming that was once a doctor. Now he is but a medical skeleton, one could say. All right. Well, I think we've seen all there is to see. And it is time to leave this dive of a place. Nothing else? No. Another tickets. More tickets. Hmm. Nothing but corpses of rad roaches and corpses of people from the past. Oh. Well, the only way is up. Which I believe is the way to London.